some tenacious bastards and let go of some dirt. And you look to me like the kind of guy to persuade him. Persuasion's my forte. Yeah, he'll be down at the country club, down on the golf course. They don't allow guns, so his bodyguards won't be packing lawgivers. Go beat eight tons of crap out of him. Here now, I got you a membership. And boy, you're gonna need more appropriate clothing. This guy's my new friend. I never had a permanent away before. You in the way! Okay, Chad. I'm a woman, so I know it's important to discuss feelings. That's why we don't have any male hosts on this station. People open up more to women. I was telling my girlfriend yesterday, if a woman were president, we'd meet the country every 28 days. <laughs> In these times of trouble, of international scary things that cause anxiety, people seek soul ice. What is that solace? Some visit lady friends, others go to a bar, and a strange few talk to rocks. My next guest is the author of this book, I'm Loving the Coven. She sits on the board of the Vice City Res Renaissance Committee, Jetsemini, 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 Jetsemini. Welcome to the show. Hello, Inc. through the branches of the eucalyptus. Hold up your arms and sing. Oh, dewy, my sky-sailing pregnant moon, the goddess. Pregnant moon? What are you talking about? Just summoning? Just summoning. Just sorry, whatever. Do you even have a last name? My compost critic named me Jetsamini Starhawk Moonmaker. Trust me, Amy. I'm quite accustomed to people persecuting us. It's been going on for thousands of years. Native Americans, they studied crystals. The ancient Chinese, Belgians, Superman, they all studied crystals. So why do you give...
Who is this guy? Boys, deal with him. Get him! To that psycho! You've never been born.
between it. If you had a job, would you steal a car? Of course not. And if you had a high-rise condo, a mistress, and a seat on the board, would you run around graffitiing your name all over town and making a nuisance of yourself, spinning on your back and popping and locking and... Not a hope. It's simple. If you don't have a job, starve. Get out of my constituency. By force, if necessary, and starve. That is quite simple. Are you really saying that? Of course I am. My city is a growing city. Of course, there are going to be some growing pains, but what I tell people is this. Gather up your life savings, buy yourself a piece of swamp, drain it, and get rid of the damn wildlife. Then apply for planning permission. Pretty soon, you can have your own retirement community or resort destination holiday place. You can start making money out of the boom, the shrub-inspired boom, and enjoy the kind of things sensible people have. Personal bodyguards, massive events... Yourself on the hide, son. Hell, my day. Somewhere else. What's wrong with Nevada or Kansas? We want a river. We need a river. The Freedom River. And what about the other crimes? It seems car crime, fashion crime, drugs, everything is on the rise. Absolutely. Of course it is. When I was in Uganda, people were poor, but they were happy. The more you have, the less you have. And that's kind of what I'm all about. There's satisfaction in spending all day weaving a basket, rather than just buying one at the store. At one point in Uganda, I saw a great lake of sand and a massive speaking dog. It was a dog of love, not of hate. It was a spirit journey. What are you talking about? I'm talking about hopes, dreams, the magic of television, especially public television. Puppets can say what men cannot. Yes, but how will that stop people taking baseball bats and pounding the living crap out of each other as I saw in a mother's PTA group meeting recently? Baseball is our national sport, our national pastime. Joining together as men in order to reward the act of running around in a circle. I will thank you not to take its name in vain, Chavez. I hate... Is this me? Nice ass, baby. I'll make you a woman, girl. So far, we've done 17 things. They're almost free. Almost. When we are floating away in the Caribbean Sea, free to run things our way, singing Kumbaya in the sunshine, no school, no tax. Free barbecue and pinball for everyone. Sophisticated entertainment. Yes, well, what about the little guy? What about the guy who is standing there saying, I like being part of a man? Kids come to visit. You're successful? Start defining your lifestyle. Start defining yourself. Shady Acres. Shady Acres. Happiness is worth the price.
That's illegal, sport. Call the police immediately! This car is extremely valuable, idiot. Insurance moron. You're kidding me, right? regulations. The fact is, business is run by moral people who won't do anything illegal or try to get rich quickly. But since you got elected, my city has been characterized by a government who cut aid to the poor, offer tax breaks to the rich, and pay people to dump toxic waste near schools. Yes, we've made a lot of progress. And up on Capitol Hill, you were instrumental in pushing for a bill allowing the manufacture and sale of giggle cream. A dessert with potential lethal consequences. Uh, not true. Only 23 people have died, and several of them probably deserved it. Oh, with people being set such a bad example by big business, how are they supposed to respect it, to act safely in society? And how are they policed by a demoralized and underfunded police force? Well, I'm afraid that's apparently quite a difficult question, but my solution is easy. I'm going to talk for a long time about a subject not in any way related, and pretty soon people will forget all about it. I'll remind people that I have a great haircut, and that under my stewardship, the Vice City has had off...
there are four for the show. Where you walking, Scoopy?